I like to find out um, now that we are doing the rotational program and um, concerning the um, Independence Day celebrations. As an now that we are doing what? Now that the Independence Day celebrations have been rotated, says it was Tamale and Kumase. And okay, okay. We want to find out like what would be the what would now become of the Independence Square. So that's. Mm. <laughs> well, I, 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 I think that the Independence Square was not only built purposely for for a parade. I mean, um, it's one of our major national assets, and um, it so happens that uh, all or many of the national uh, activities are being held there. So the independent square is still relevant. And um, uh, also, it's not, it's not like uh, the independent square has been ruled out of uh, any independence uh, uh, parade. Um, it certainly would come there uh, someday um, as the Selected by random, as in like from other regions, the Tamale, the Kumase. How has it been done? But that's why I said that, that is that is asked, under this question um, of the person. When we went to when we went to Tamale, we 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 never knew that Kumase would be the next the next place. So the president later informed us, and, and then put the team together and said, well. I want it to be held this year in Kumasi. As, as I speak to you now, I don't know when and uh, where the next the next um, the next region would be. Um, and as I said, you might as well see well. Uh, let's have it in Accra. So that is that is the, the preserve of him. And we we only work based on based on his his instructions. Okay. So. Um Last one. Governance expect um Dr. Audrey in an interview with GBC is saying that um there should be a passage of a legislative instrument to back the rotation of the independent state parade since um it has become like an economic impact on the country, you know, we profit out of this independent celebration. What do you have to say about it? Well, um as I said the the, the president who, who who has this vision probably must have must have saw the need for it, and Tamale and Kumasi has proven beyond all reasonable doubts, and uh, but that's why there is this call to 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 sort of uh, uh, send send the bill to Parliament to that effect. Uh, it will not be a bad idea if you ask me personally. 
because I said it fits into the president's vision and thinking that yes, uh, it's a wonderful opportunity at getting the regions also have a feel of it. Not only that one, but the impact that it creates. It did in Tamale, and it has done it again in Kumasi. It's so enormous uh, in terms of tourism potentials that are that are activated in terms of local economies that that has been activated uh, in terms of um, the uh, refurbishing and re reconstruction. Uh, sanitation in all spheres of our 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 life as a people. Uh, the mere fact that there's a celebration coming on, it takes weeks for the people to be in that mood, and not only the DJ as in the parade, but every aspect is has been activated. And I think that it will not be a bad idea at all to give it to that. If, if the call by by the gentleman is is is, uh, is, is done, but I already, as I said, it fits into the present vision. I am happy, for instance, that uh, the president's call on this thing to be rotated is something that's being accepted uh, by the people first of all, and also getting governance experts to really add 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 to it by asking for some legislation. It goes to work for our own group. Okay. So um, yesterday, when um, there were so there were reactions from Ghanaians about the whole Independence Day celebration, of course, some were happy about the fact that and it's been taken to Kumase, and they were proud about the fact that it's been celebrated in their town and a whole lot. But then other people are of the view that this whole rotation is um, about what the party in power stands to gain, you know, in that you are benefiting from the whole thing as it's becoming more political than economical. Um, what do you have to say about that? Well, well I would I would rather ask you if you were if you were at the uh, first of all if you are in Kumasi and if you and if you were on the ground. So not a single uh, party flag, especially not a single NPP flag was flying on any pole anywhere in Kumasi. From the airport all through Principal Street, from Ejusu all through entering the Kumasi, every single pole you see has a Ghana flag, a proud Ghana flag, not an MPP flag. You were at the stadium, you saw the beauty of it. Every single individual, okay, over a hundred thousand miniature flags were distributed across and every single individual in and outside the stadium has a has a Ghana flag waving. There was nothing partisan political about it. So I don't know what the, what people are talking about. If we wanted to politicize it by using party colours, we would have done so. The president insists and says this is one Ghana I don't want to see any party color, and it, it, it really went well on the cameras everywhere. So um, I don't know what to, what other people are talking about, but you saw it for yourself, uh, and, and and therefore uh, is is something that uh, is not even necessary to comment. Uh, the most important thing is that uh, for us as planning committee, uh, we did what we could. And presented to Ghanaians uh, um, a unified uh, celebration that puts Ghana uh, and the flag of Ghana at, at, at the fore. Uh, and I think that all partisan interests were were reserved to the background. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. My pleasure. All right.